What is happening, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? How are you guys doing today? Good, I hope. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be riding motorcycles at all. We're going to be doing a mild engine restoration cleaning on my 1976 Kawasaki KZ900 motorcycle. Alright, so a lot of you guys have seen this bike before. Um, it was featured in an earlier video. Long story short, bike was fine. I sent the carbs off to this dude in Oregon. They were gone for six months, got them back. I was totally psyched to ride the bike. Rode it for about 80 miles and, well, supposedly the rings went. It's either the rings or the valve guides up in the head because this thing is just like fouling plugs like a wild animal. Anyways, she's essentially been on a timeout, let's just call it. But every once in a while I take her out of the garage and clean her up. Just let her know that someday I'll get her back on the road, but uh, that day is not going to be today. Alright, so what do we got here? What do we need to do this? And here's what we're doing here. If you get close to this engine, you can see all this. Can you guys see that? There's just a lot of like, oh the lighting, how's this lighting? There's a lot of that oxidization and kind of like metallic-y build up and it's just virtually impossible to get rid of using anything um, off the shelf. So what I got is this stuff and Mr. Jason turned me on to it. He actually turned me on to a different brand but this is the same stuff um, as this place on Maui stopped carrying the other guys. You can only get this stuff at uh, like uh, distribution centers that distribute products for like auto detailers and stuff like that. Auto Magic spoke chrome and wire wheel cleaner and it's a pretty harsh corrosive acid it's it's pretty gnarly and it's on the on the bottle there you know wanting you to only use it on chrome parts they say not to get it on aluminum and such and such but uh, Mr. Jason's got a workflow that I'm gonna do on this bike which works very well it's like a 50 50 reduction here so you just do one one to one ratio and followed by some, I'm going to clean it with Simple Green when I'm done and that's got also a teaspoon of baking soda in it. It's going to help neutralize this acid that might be like in little crevices and whatnot. And then condition the engine with WD-40 which works excellent. Um, you'll also need a shitty power washer if you have one. And yeah, let's get started. Try not to get it on the paint if you can. Okay, look down here. This is the before. That's pretty ugly down there. And I've also got, the, you can see the pipe. That, this dirt right here, that's not dirt. It's like this like oxidized rust. It's been, I haven't been able to do anything to get it off at all. Basically, just going to be doing this all over the bike. And... Let's see. I'll check back with you after uh, after I gave it its first power wash, blasted it off. All right. Now what you're going to want to do is start your shitty power washer, which is going to take a while because for some reason, not bad, not bad. Now you're just going to want to blast off the first layer. Layer. This is stage one. Look at that, you can already see that. Look at that, wow. That's awesome. Look at that, oh my God. Incredible, this stuff is freaking amazing. All right guys, we're only on <laughs> 
the first stage. So I'm gonna do this about three times, but as you can see, first of all, that rust down there that I couldn't get off the tailpipe at all, regardless of what I tried to use to get it off, first stage, it's pretty much gone. This casing right here, gosh, look, it's just like eating through all this corrosive grossness. These pipes right here, they were totally like rusted out. It's, this stuff is incredible. This, look at this, it's like beautiful again. Anyways, all right, so I'm gonna keep going on this and uh, I'll get back to you in a second. So like, I'm, I'm not gonna show you me spraying it again. I'll just uh, cut to like a further clip. All right, this is a little tricky to do while it's raining, but as you can see, I, I'm on the third coat. I'm gonna stop for now because it's looking like it's gonna rain. But if you look at how well this freaking acid took everything off, it's just amazing. I can't even believe it. So right now I'm spraying my simple green baking soda mix all over the bike. Just all the little cracks and crevices that might be, um, that acid might be pooling up in. I just wanna make sure that's all just neutralized. All right, so I'm basically just gonna do this to the whole bike and then uh, rinse it off real quick. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's just like awesome. I mean, back here, this is awful. So yeah, pretty stoked on that. If you guys have an older bike, and Jason's like done it, Mr. Jason. He's done it to, you know, dirt bikes and all sorts of different bikes. Like, I don't know, people on the KZ forums, like, they'd yell at me if they saw me power washing a KZ. Don't power wash that bike! Don't you ever power wash that bike! But I did, and it worked really well. So I'll probably continue to power wash it every now and again. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to get this girl on the road someday, but uh, to be honest with you, she's about $1,500 worth of parts and labor from being running properly again. So hope you enjoyed the show and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye bye. Mm.